the Hasika awning. I believe it was $116. I could be wrong. I don't really remember on Amazon. I bought it just before this trip. We had heavy winds last night. I'll include a clip from that. This whole section here was folding down on itself. Really pulling way down. But it stayed up. What I did was, I don't know if I can show it here. I have a grommet kit and I put leather reinforced grommets right at the right spot where my, the D rings are on my roof. And then uh, the corners have lines that are also going to the rack on the other side. So there's four points of contact up here. That's not going anywhere. And you know, it does cover over here. So if it did rain, the water would go over that, which is good. And then the big trick here and you might see this, one of the stakes in this video, but the key is do not use the stakes that come with this thing. Go out and buy quality aluminum stakes that have this sort of profile. What that does is a round stake will pull right out of the ground real easy, whereas this thing here, that's a lot more surface area in the dirt so that, and it's all about friction in the dirt for not pulling out these are actually hard to get out of the earth they come with this so you, you put your finger through the loop and you tap it with a hammer on the side to get it out when you want to pack up but that's the key that is the key to any setup tent rain fly uh, is good quality stakes those round stakes that come with all that gear is pretty much garbage so if you do a setup like this, I'm talking super heavy winds last night, like hurricane force winds, and I'm not exaggerating. I also have this Hasika hatchback, I don't know, vestibule thing on this Astro van, and it's working out fantastic. Now, I didn't really need it, but because uh, there's not really any bugs out here, no mosquitoes, but I like it, and it's going to come in handy for situations like that. But really, this is more about just this awning. So if you're considering this awning, you're going to see reviews where <clears throat> people bash it. Uh, you know, I haven't had it in the rain, just super high winds. The other trick I did uh, once the wind really picked up last night was uh, I unzipped this so that the air could blow through there, right? And this, that helps wanting it lift, to lift it up off the ground. It would be better, in my opinion if they had something up here like that uh, but it's this is all fine the ties are still there there's a, a tie right there in the center for this pole and then there's two fiberglass poles at the top and the tie is still intact at the top so again not a bad product at all for the money i would say if you know how to take care of your stuff and you're smart uh, you can save hundreds of dollars over the moonshade and have this and it'll work. And you'll get plenty of uses out of this if you set it up the way I have. Uh, and then by the time it's time for a new one, <clears throat> you can still afford to buy another one. What I'm gonna do, if this tears is, keep the poles and just get a tarp and create this, like a more heavy duty thing. Maybe even make something this exact shape. Uh, I do plan on getting a sewing machine so I could basically rip off the design and improve upon it and use all the hardware that came with this one. getting some really strong winds it's folding down this awning I opened up the uh, window here so the air will blow through that but this whole section is folding down but again I've got four points of contact on the ground and it's secured up on the roof with four points of contact as well look it's blowing that wind is blowing it completely down if this lasts, uh, I'll be surprised and I'll be pleased. And I think it may because, again, the whole point is making sure you get your guy lines down. And I used uh, aluminum stakes.
you know, quality steaks. So there's, it's like a, it's like an X pattern. So what that is, is that's a lot more surface area, right? To grab, it's, it's all about friction. And so I wrap the guy line around these little hooks. And the idea is that you stick your finger through this line and beat on it side to side to get it out of the ground after, you know, when you're gonna break camp. These are super lightweight. It's uh, worth getting quality steaks. That's from my uh, backpacking days. <coughs> Excuse me. Also have the uh, cooked dinner over there uh, this afternoon. So I'll let you know, if it blows away, I might shoot some video of it. <laughs> but it's been surviving some pretty strong winds for about a half hour now.